I thought we'd start today by upgrading Harry's arsenal. I've already technically kind of uh, upgraded his weapon, so we'll give you that guy, that guy. These are all the basic Night Stalker things, so these aren't the really good ones, but that's going to give him, uh, looks like a power level of 27 now. That's not too shabby. And I think Larry was over here last I saw him. Larry! Oh, you're right there. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell when you're right there. Uh, let's go ahead and give you all these things, then we'll give you a copper sword as well. And I think I have an extra ring left over that you can also have. So here, let's grab that guy. I have no idea what this ring is. But you can have that as well. And wow, that gets you up to 33. That's Oh, that's because that's the, uh, the one that we haven't been using because I like movement speed. Got it. Well, turns out Larry is more powerful now than Harry. My bad. Sorry, Harry. It's nothing personal. It's just... It's the way it happened. I suppose at this point, with this random crap that... Uh, oh, yeah. I'll take that. Thanks. That I got off of these guys. I guess just... Throw that stuff in there. There's... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be throwing the Lumberjacks axes in there. Here, we'll save that one. But the rest of that stuff can just be chewed up by the Devourer. Devourer. Because it, it doesn't really matter. We'll compulsively count away, compulsively, not compulsively, count away some things there. And then we're going to go check in on our furnaces. We got 30 iron ingots out of that one. And 30 iron ingots out of that one, which would be 60, which if you did the math, you would already know that's how much we were going to get. If I had planks, we could uh, do some planking and stuff. So let's grab some planks. I think those are over here. I guess we really do need to get some more planks going, too. So we'll go with, uh, let's see, let's do an iron mace. And then what does this one do? Oh, that one is versus undead. Undead, you say? Vegetation, vegetation. I don't understand why... Okay, dual wield blades that's, that deal slash damage and has a greater effect on blah, blah, blah. An all-around weapon. Let's do the slashers. I mean, we don't really have a lot of uh, options here. And then we're going to do iron axes as well. Because we should upgrade the things that are going to do the most work for us. And right now, that is certainly going to be this guy here. And it's definitely going to be that one. And I'm going to say it's probably going to be that one as well. I'm, I'd am i really like to upgrade the spear. Like, that would be... I think that would be advisable, but... I don't know that we can do much about that right now. We need more ingots. Where did everyone go? Holy crap, dude. They all just left. What's the deal with that? Can we um summon more things here? I guess we could. We don't have any of these guys, but uh, the ghouls would be good. Uh, we don't have any more to summon with, and we don't have any blood roses, so... Um... Hello. You're about to get slashed all to heck. I mean, I like the sound. The sounds cool. Uh... Okay range. Not great range. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. I enjoy that. Here, let's just smash this thing. Yeah, that might be one fewer swing. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't want to destroy that tree. Never mind. Yeah, let's get this guy, though. I want to say maybe it was nine swings before. Well, that was nine right there, so maybe not. Maybe it's all the same still, but we just get more out of it or something. Harry, there you are. I was looking for someone. I didn't really care who at this point. Harry, buddy. Um... Where are you going? You you missed all of the action, by the way. Here, let me have that, and you can have that. Uh, actually, let me have that back, too. There you go. Now you're still not as good as Larry, but you're getting there. It's through no fault of your own. It's just uh, how, how things ended up. So we're going to drop off all of those guys. And then I guess we're going to drop off all this stuff. And maybe what we'll do today... As we'll see if we can track down uh, Beatrice, the tailor, and see what we can do. I'm going to take a wild guess that up here is where we're going. This is Dawnbreak Village right here. 
It just seems like this is going to be the place where we're supposed to go to find a tailor. Because there's all sorts of uh, stuff to be found over here. Dog, you're not going to be helpful. Cloth and yarn and all that sort of stuff is listed as the, the loot over here. You're going to be a bit of a problem there, worker, so... My oh, goodness. I really need to go through the fence right here is what I need. So let's do that. Let's try and cut through that way. I'm looking to minimize our exposure to people. Yep, I'm going to get hit. I knew that was coming. I'm going to die because I can't see what I'm doing. Hi, how you doing? Oh, look at that. Another warning from the server about performance or something. I tell you, it happens like literally every time I play. Oh, um. Yeah, let's do that. Bam! I took care of that guy pretty quickly. That was nice. Well, I might want your blood. Oops, my bad. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Turn around. It helps. It helps to hit guys when you do that. All right, let's go ahead and feed on you. I just... I'm fine with that for now. Oh, hi. Let's go ahead and block a bunch of things, and then you can deal with my minions. Enjoy my minions! I'm kind of curious. I haven't uh, checked it out yet. Do that in a second. What is the... Oh, you just straight up charge with this weapon. That's interesting. Who are you? Oh, you're just a longbow. All right. Um, here, go ahead and give me some friends. All right. I need to get out of here. Because there's just too much going on. Yeah, let's get out of here. That dude who was all uh, ringing the bell and stuff needs to be... Needs to have his bell rung. Catch my drift. Okay, I'm gonna burn up here in the sun. Um... Oh, that, that fence is tough. Tougher than I thought. Okay. So I still don't even know if that was the right place to go. Like, that's a whole other issue at this point. Hi, how you doing? Oh, that's nice. I like that attack. That's very good. Um, that's probably going to be an issue here. Because I need to heal up. Ow. Thanks. We're going to do something we probably should have done quite some time ago, and that's to explore this way. There's a rhyme and a reason to this, because, quite frankly, we need to open up another way gate so that I don't have to be as annoyed every time I die, because I'm terrible at this game. Is there anyone good here? These are all crap blood. That dead eye is not terrible, but everyone else is just awful. Everyone else, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I meant to change uh, weapons there. It's because I moved it off of a different button. That's why. Um, hi. Smash! Hmm. Yeah, let's not have that equipped anymore. I don't even know. I might have killed the wrong guy there. Might have killed the one I was supposed to not kill. You know what I mean? No, it's that one right there. Okay. Get rid of you. Come on. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, you're next. And then you. That's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks. And we just want your blood. Thank you. I will feed on you. Perfect. Just in time for another patrol to come by. Yeah, let's take all this crap. Just because we might have want or need of it. Maybe not the tainted hearts as much, but hey, you never know, you might need some additional blood essence. Eh, 33%'s not too shabby. I might rather have that. But that also means having to deal with another fight, and I don't really feel like dealing that right now. Let's get back on the road. Not that I really want to do this, but we're gonna just go ahead and do a big old honking fight. I mean,. For reasons. Good 
do it. Uh, mainly because I just want to go see what they have in here for loot. There's still some stuff that we need to harvest, so it makes sense from a, a tactical standpoint to to do that at some point here. Chop, chop, chop. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha on that. Crap, that's going to be a problem. Okay, I don't really care about that canister, canteen, whatever it is. That stuff doesn't matter to me at all. Okay, I'm just going to take this stuff and go. I'm at the point now where I don't want to deal with any of these guys. Mainly that big guy, he's just a problem. I don't know how to fight him yet. I just haven't figured it out. So, at this point, let's just run. I'm okay with that. Hi. Now, the main reason we were coming this way and why I wanted to do this on camera was because we do have that militia camp there, and there's that. But we're also going to have right up ahead here the waygate that we never found, so we'll inadvertently find something that's nearby to where we're going. I think. I mean, I'm still not 100% sure that that's where we're going to that to that village, but it sure seems like it. So let's get up here to our way gate so we can at least activate this and now have it on our map. So this will be very handy to have this one right here because we're going to be spending a bunch of time over here, I suspect. I'm going to guess that the boss is up in this general area here. Which might mean just generally like running through that place. So let's see if we can get in and retrieve our stuff. That's kind of the next order of business here. Let's go ahead and mark that guy. It's not that far off, thankfully. And I am super annoyed that those things keep popping up. They should never, ever go to that spot on your bar. Like seriously, that is major bad form right there. I'm genuinely annoyed by that. Those should never go there. Granted, one should also pay attention to what they're clicking on. Point taken. Much better, much better. Oh, what did we get here? Bone crossbow. Well, ain't that a steaming pile? So you are now saying that Beatrice is over here somewhere? No, you're saying over here, which could be there, could be there, could be the edge of Dawnbreak. Oh, goodness. Now you're saying over there. So I'm going to say that in all likelihood, Beatrice is over here somewhere in this village. Oh, good golly. Uh, it helps if you have a weapon. Okay. Stop telling people I'm around because it's really super annoying. I'm trying to take a second to watch for blood, even though I'm pretty sure that peeps are going to be coming in to inspect. So you're over here now. I like the idea of breaking all these fences down to have a, a quicker way to run around. We're going to have company around the corner here in just a second. Oh, wow. Um, I hope you guys like fire. Ah, man, I, I want to like that skill, but it's such a pain to use. I'd switched, by the way, in case you hadn't seen it, I'd switched skills around. I'm not sure I like it because there's all that time on it. I think it's the one we started with very early on. We were using this Shadow Bolt skill. What I might want to do instead is... I don't even know. I was kind of liking this one when we were using that one, so we'll, we'll go back to Aftershock for the time being. So we got some better blood that way, so good movement speed and uh, critical chance upgrade there. That looks like Beatrice the Tailor. Right there. Yep, let's go do this. 
Oh, this is going to be very interesting if she doesn't fight back. Okay. Because that kind of changes the whole complexion of this fight. And it's really just whoever is around her. Oh, you are terrible. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I need to catch up with her. Where are you going, madam? I was not expecting that, and yet at the same time, it makes perfect sense. Okay, let's switch to this guy. Because we'll get some faster attack speed out of that. Do, 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 do. This might be my favorite boss fight because it's so ridiculous. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Mikolash. If you don't know who Mikolash is, well, then you haven't played Bloodborne. Mikolash is uh, a very interesting, unique fight within the confines of that game. And this is a similar interesting one. I mean, uh, it's not the same mechanic. There's some similarities to a degree, but I don't know. I actually, I kind of liked that really. That was, it was different. We got some sort of ring off of her, Dusk Watcher's ring. I think we already have that one. So that was kind of fun to have a different mechanic there because that was unexpected. I was not prepared for that. I'm here, I have, oh, there you go. Get rid of you, and then we can do this. Meow, meow. Okay. The whole reason I came up here, by the way, just to tell you, is because I wanted to collect all these stones that were destroyed. <laughs> Wasn't sure it would really be worth it. I didn't think it would be, but I kind of thought, eh. If someone took the time to knock down these things, we should go, we should go check them out. And then, plus, there is potentially some stuff up here. I mean... We'll see. Oh, glass. Yes. That is good. Glass is good. Where are we, anyway? Are we still considered in Dawnbreak? We're in the Militia Encampment. So we do have a possibility of finding some scrolls here. Scrolls, of course, would be good for allowing us to learn some new stuff that we can craft. I'm trying to be careful about this uh, fire starter guy here. Obviously not careful enough. Can someone hit this? Okay, no. Apparently the answer to that is a good, solid no. One more second. There you go. Alright, guys. There you go. You'll be your own doom, etc., etc. Oh, 50%. That was a good one. I didn't even see what blood type he was, so that was kind of a shame there. Well, you guys kill him. Oh. About that. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do some quick blood mending. I don't know, did we get anything useful out of this stuff? We've got six glass so far. 21 papers and nine scrolls. This is one of those things where we do need to collect a bunch of this crap, so it is kind of worthwhile to go and do it. Here, we'll just uh, walk around in human form for a moment. I don't necessarily need to go back to animal form just yet, because we got more stuff to check here, and I think we might have to destroy some of it. Cloth and wool. Okay, that's fine. We'll take that. Um, I guess we'll just do that. I do kind of like that skill, but I kind of don't. I'm not sure entirely how I feel about it. I mean, it does let you change positions pretty quickly, which is pretty nice. Oh, we got some sort of uh, thing from him. All right, let's just get rid of these guys. No more messing around. Okay, I'm going to switch back to animal form for the moment. Which we're going to get out of in a second here. Just like that. I knew there were going to be things inside. Never mind, there's stuff outside. I thought he someone dropped a book there. Merciless Hollow Fang Leggings. We already have 
We don't have those, I don't think, but I don't think we have hollow thing leggings. Do we? I don't remember. That was a reward from someone, maybe? I don't remember at this point. It's been too long. Let's go ahead and get back to base. I think at this point we have done enough that we can just go ahead and hit this teleporter. That's right here. I kind of took the long way. Don't worry about that. We'll be fine. We'll go back to the base. We'll see what else we can make. And then I guess we have to pick a new target because Beatrice was uh, pretty easy. It's nice to finally take care of a boss the first try. Let's go hit the altar before we do anything else. We're going to hit the altar and say, uh, I guess we're going to look for Vincent the Frostbringer now. Because that's our last weakest guy, aside from the putrid rat, which... That's a whole other thing for how we're going to have to summon that. I I guess I need to look again at what we need to be able to do that. So here, let's take a quick look. Putrid rat... Um, I mean, we don't have everything we need for that, because we still need the... Twilight Snapper. That's going to be the issue, is we need that. Uh, for the time being, let's go ahead and summon some regular rats. Because... That would be handy to have some of those guys around. So, I don't know what's going to happen if we have like 47,000 rats running around. I guess it'll only do six at a time, so that answers that question. Excellent. And then I don't remember what else Beatrice opened, so let's go back to Beatrice here, wherever you are. Uh, human form, that's right, I remember that. So we've got the loom, a workstation used for refining fibers into various fabrics. And we also have an assortment of curtains, and that could be exciting. We got the hunter's cloak. Yeah, we're definitely going to make one of those. And then cloth and yarn now we can make. I don't know why I just lost my voice there, but I did. Uh, this guy, let's see. Can we make the cloak thing over here? I bet we need a different thing. Maybe the loom for that. So if we were to do production and we were to do refinement... The loom is right here. Planks and copper ingots. Uh, I guess we should have room for this. So here, let's just make one of these real quick. Copper ingots. I think the planks have now been relocated over here. They keep getting moved. It's very annoying. Okay, let's make a loom. Uh, I don't know where this thing is going to go because this is a large thing. Holy moly. Uh, I guess for now it goes right there until we have space to do something about it. So this is going to let us make cloth. That's going to let us make cotton. Uh, cotton will make us let us make cotton yarn. And then fire blossoms and coarse thread will allow us to do wool thread. That's very interesting. And then we have some more ones. Imperial silk and ghost yarn. And then I don't think we have anything else we can do. Because we still only have the same regular crafting things. So let's go to our study here and... We can go ahead and research the Merciless Hollow Fang leggings. And we don't have enough scrolls there to research anything else. I don't know if we have enough scrolls and paper stored, so let's check that real quick, just because if we do... Yeah, what do we have? 21, so 27, that's not going to be enough. If we do... Oh, look at that, 78. Let's go ahead and research a new thing. I mean, we should be researching everything we can. Let's discover. What did we get? Gobblestone Paths. That's... Not in the slightest bit useful, but... Excellent. So I don't think those hollow thing leggings are in here. I'm going to guess maybe all the stuff that we're looking to craft now is over in the smithy? No. Well, it's not going to be something we craft in our inventory. Traveler's wrap, yes. But... None of this other stuff, so we're missing something to be able to do more crafting. Prison cell is not going to be it. Um, I think I've seen this guy recently. That name rings a bell. These must be the names we hadn't been able to see yet. Christina the Sun Princess. Tristan the Vampire Hunter, Leandra the Shadow Priestess, Terra the Geomancer, Meredith the Bright Archer. Oh, holy crap, dude. She's a level 52? Whoa, we've been trying to knock her down. We actually got close one of those times, but she's level 52. 
I don't feel as terrible about myself now because she is like way beyond anything that we should be able to handle right now. That's ridiculous. I mean, yes, if you're a better player than me. In which case, shut up. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this guy in there. And that'll actually give us enough paper that we can go discover one more thing. So here, let's do this. I don't know. I, I guess I got to look and see if I'm missing something here, because... Uh, what do we get? An assortment of fine paintings. Okay. I think... I think I'm missing something with respect to crafting some of these other things we have now. So I'm, I'm just guessing that we need a new table. The tailoring bench, is that it? Maybe it's the tailoring bench, but I don't know that we have 28 cotton yarns. And for that, we need a bunch of cotton, which I don't think we have a bunch of cotton. So here, let's compulsively count again. I don't think we've really made a point of collecting cotton, come to think of it. So that might be something that has to happen on the next one. I'm not seeing the cotton stuff right now. We've got a bunch of wool thread. There's some cotton there, so we can grab that. And we've got two, it looks like. So we're going to need more, is what I'm hearing. We're going to need more. Well, at least we have a plan for the next one. We need more cotton so we can make more yarn. So that we can make a tailoring table, so that we can make some new equipment. And then, we might be ready to go after a couple more bigger, badder people. For now, I'm going to go drop these off in there and let that start doing its thing. Catch you next one, Till, and thanks for watching. See you later.